that? No one seems inclined to say, for the record anyway, that last year's finish could carry over to this year's start. Nearly to a man, they'll tell you, that was then, this is now. In fact, they might even say there's some reason to be confident. I think that they recognize that we have some talent in this team. I think when Herschel Walker came in, Mike Sherrard's performance last year uh, uh, gives everybody a lot of confidence that we can we can be competitive. Well, that's a good thing about uh, football. You get another chance uh, each week if you have a bad game. This is a new year. We have a whole new opportunity ahead of us. Still, it's probably the memory of 1986 that motivates this team more than anything else. Or should I say, the desire to erase the memory of 1986. Well, yeah, it, uh, it leaves a very di distasteful taste in your mouth and makes for a long off season. And, and you want to do everything humanly possible to, to get back on the winning track. You know, to be associated with uh, the first losing season in 20 years is something that uh, none of us can take uh, with, any pri with any pride or proudness about it. For all its sunshine and scenery, you better believe that this is not fun for most of these guys. Training camp is hard work. But, you know, for the last seven months, these guys have had to live with the memory of what happened last November and December. And for the team with the proudest tradition in the NFL, that's a lot worse than two-a-days. At Thousand Oaks Training Camp, this is George McKenzie, News 4 Sports.